We are live. Come on. Okay, so today, 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 we are going to do the big review of the oil paint. So I've got a number of commissions that I've got to get done. Um, this <laughs> this week and next week so I got like I don't know five paintings I'm just gonna blast up been so busy building this uh, business of mine that I haven't been able to get these portraits done but worse what we're gonna do so that there is a good friend of mine and I'm taking a uh, picture of him and his daughter from a phone so i had to you know uh, use some ai enhancement software to take this low res image and get it to a high res sort of deal and so we're not quite ready <laughs> So I'm going to show you sort of the deal here, so, all right. <clears throat> so this is what we call a block-in, and <clears throat> there's just basically, I've reduced it to um, uh, six steps, five or six steps that anybody can use to kick butt and paint uh, um, a magical portrait so let us see what is up if I go like this I get this all right so <clears throat> we start here so now I'm here doesn't really look like it but um, that is where I want to be and so I'm beginning to bring the color in and all that stuff. I still got the grid lines there. They're not, uh, you know, you lose the grid lines as soon as you feel comfortable, you know, you know how it goes. But um, so today, war, it took, it took three days for this thing to dry man oh sorry it took three days for this guy to dry okay so my unexpected um review is i didn't expect this because uh when it's this loose when it's oil paint the evaporation of the solvent of the white spirits aids in the um drying part of the thing so this is what i want to do here i want to here if we go so here are the the water-based oil paints and i made a mistake because i bought um instead of titanium white i bought the what's the other white zinc white zinc 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 white not a good choice because zinc white doesn't cover so uh drum roll please all right i'm gonna take off I'm gonna take off the uh, so usually with uh, with oil paints, right? This will stay for days, man. It'll stay for days. Okay, just hit the camera. Let me make sure everything is okay here. Yeah, everything is all right. All right. So yeah. So here are the paints. Are they, whoa, whoa, after three days, man. Incredible, very impressed. This is water-based paint, man. Ooh, my rag is on the floor. Wow, I am seriously impressed. 
All right, water base paint after three days is still is still there, man. What the heck is that? Okay, so I've got to get cracking on these other other um. Portraits, but what do you say we just really quickly for the sake of um, Sake of the thing all right, so this is the method. Let me show you really quick. This is what you need This is what you need How's my little guy doing all right? so you need to be large, okay? About the size of your pinky, about the size of your pinky nail, all right? So three large, then three medium, the size of your pinky nail. I don't know what number they are or whatever. <laughs> and then three small where's the camera three small especially this one you can almost those got nothing I love that little guy anyways so that's about the size of a hangnail all right so that is what you do and you got one for the medium one for the highlights and one for the dark and so we're gonna I want to go in here and really quick and see how it covers after the second time around. So I'm gonna change my, so the PowerPoint is here and then we can go into the middle here. All right, and so I can still see a little bit uh, of these pencil lines, but not much, so it's covering, all right. So I want to get to, so let's look over here. All right, let me move over, don't want to hit the camera. So if we look over here, right, can you see my cursor? Okay, now you can, right? So if we see here, we've got some medium dark tones, all right? So I'm gonna look all over this canvas for this type of tone. It's not the darkest tone. And so that tone there can go right there. And so what I wanna do is I kinda of wanna look and I wanna see, all right, that's sort of the middle of that quadrant. And so it's just off to the left of the middle of that quadrant. So if I look the middle of the quadrant, I'm losing the lines, right? So the middle of that quadrant is right about there, right? Okay. Oops, a little bit too much water. Okay, so it's covering Pretty decently. Oh, right, man. I like that. I like that. Okay. And look, we could probably go even a little bit of darker. Can I mix on the canvas? Yeah, I, I, I can. It's, no, I can. It's cool. It's cool. All right, let me look, let me look. How does that look? I'm still, I'm a little bit dark there. Okay, that looks good. So I'm looking for any other shape of lidge. And so we can go, where else is that sort of mid, mid dark tone? Let's see, where else can we see it? Oh, maybe a little bit here. Rolling up to the air. Maybe a little bit, I think. Like right in there. 
And so we're just an assassin now for the mid-dark tone. The mid-dark tone looks like it, it's coming in here a little bit. That's a little bit too dark. We're gonna mix down here. All right. And so we're gonna come in there like this. How about the little girl? Any mid-darks? Any mid-darks going on? Maybe a little bit here, right around the mouth. Okay, so it doesn't come off the canvas as easily uh, with the oil. When in doubt, blur it out. We're going to use another brush here. And we're going to take some... We're going to take some zinc white, unfortunately, because I didn't get the titanium white. But let's see how the zinc white kind of comes along. All right, all right, all right. Zinc white in the house. Zinc white, there's a little bit of... Okay, not bad, not bad. And then gonna come in here with the medium. That's a little bit too much. So let's see if I can bring it down. Yeah, all right, all right. On the second, on the second, uh, on the second. So you, so you can see I've got two, I've got the light and the dark in my hand, right? And so I, I'm gonna look, I'm looking at his, at uh, here. Right, there's right around there, right, something like this. And then, yeah, so even the zinc white, even the zinc white is covering after after the uh so i'm still using big brushes i could probably step down a little bit but i'm gonna keep with the big brush and let's see yeah okay it's covering man it's get deserves some collapse okay Looks like I have to adjust the eye there. I was a little bit too. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So if you look here, right half so that, uh, oops. <laughs> Don't want to move that. Here, let me uh, lock that in. All right. But the eye starts about halfway there, so that's about there. That's a good. I'm a little bit high, so we're gonna bring bring it down a little bit, and that means that this uh, eyebrow gonna mix on the canvas there can come down. A little bit. All right. Oh yeah, yeah, man. Look at that, nice and dark. Okay, so. Now I'm looking at that empty space there. The white space, not so much as the dark space to get my bearing. All right, and keep it as loose as you can for as long as you can and we'll bring a little bit titanium white in there mixing uh, and ah that's not titanium white a little bit of the zinc white here <clears throat> let's see if we can yeah it's covering unbelievable i am I'm pretty impressed with this here. With this here. OK. 
Okay, and so we're going to get a mid brush out and we're going to get some uh, mid tones. I want to get this darker. All right, so if we go like this. Just a little bit of water. Just a little bit of water in my life. Dab it on the brush. And so I want to get maybe a little. So I'm kind of mixing in this area the difference between the two. So if you have a one, two, three, four, five, you're actually gonna have a one, two, one, two, three, four. You're actually gonna have nine different tones out of the five. Do you know what I'm saying? Let's give it up. All right, so, oops. All of my keystrokes are being registered. <laughs> Okay, so where was I? Oh, I'm gonna go here. And so I wanna darken this. Get this a little bit darker. Let's take a look. Yeah! Something like that there. Oh, yeah. I'm a big fan. Is it covering the uh, pencil lines? You wanna, if you're gonna be using pencil to make your lines, you have to be careful because pencil can be a pain in the badooty. In the badooty. Badooty. Okay. All right, that's good. Now I want to see, so I'm kind of getting a good idea of how the, uh, yeah, the, the, the second time around, I'm more, um, you know, as it, as it had a tam to dry, I was just ready to throw those, I was just ready to throw all that, that away, man. You know? Wow, okay. So I wanna see what we can get here in terms of Okay, alright. Okay, it is sort of taking off this happens in staining uh, furniture. Seems to be Taking off a little bit of the previous. Once you start really like hitting it. So that was a good idea to make sure it was completely dry. All right, that's I think a good enough. Uh, Now this is gonna take another three days to dry. That's, I never thought that that would be the drawback of, um, of, um, water-based painter. Never in a million years, man. We're gonna bring in a little bit here. We got some highlights. I wanna cut this off. That was a little bit. All right, all right. Okay. And I think we can sort of come in here a little bit and add some more. Wow, look, that little the darkness. 
so you don't realize these things. So yeah, I might have gone too dark here. Mixing on the canvas, can we light it up? Can we light it? Looks like we can. So yeah, the little girl's face. Get his baby cheeks there. Looks like we got some baby cheeks going on. Okay, so there is a little bit of, uh, it does not mix as well on the canvas or my, She's kind of like, what's up, daddy? What's up, pop? Uh, all right, that's, I think, good enough. Just kind of wanted to experiment there, live on the camera. Out, blur it out. Okay. white the white of his eyes you see the white of his eyes are nowhere near the squint squint the white of his eyes are no, nowhere near this bright so you kind of got to knock him down so yeah I've got some work to do but you kind of get the idea let me go like this now if you were my student and you did this it's it's forbidden especially your first your first don't ever 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 turn it over until you reach way past the the um the uh, stage but since i have this we're going to give the drum roll okay yeah, all right, so this is about 45 minutes worth of work. Definitely getting, uh, getting the, um, the statements in there, you know. This is going to be fun. It's going to be good. It's going to be cool when it comes out. My man's going to look like James Bond. So you understand, you're kind of getting it. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? So, voila. Now, as far as my rating, <laughs> so I've been working with oils for over 20 years, and 
so the review i'm impressed i'm totally impressed that the paint is still dry i am still blown away i mean i cannot believe this has been here under um, saran wrap for three days it's absolutely amazing so that i give it four stars as far as working on it as far as covering i give it about an eight it's not as good as as oil as far as mixing on the canvas i give it about a seven um oh geez look at all these and um for i uh, got a bunch of drips <laughs> and just for use in general Okay, we're going to try to mitigate these dripolas. Okay, so I'd say all in all, I get a bit of a rating of, compared to oil, seven and a half stars. It would have been eight until I saw those ridiculous strips. So it's about three quarters of the way to um, it's about three quarters of the way to oil. Three quarters of the way. Outside, plain air, I'd go full metal because you don't have to take the... White spirits, the solvent, and you don't have to be worried about little kids and going like this with your paint, and all some stroller rolls by and you blind some unexpecting toddler. So, for plain air, I'd give it an 8.5. For indoor, I give it a 7.5. So maybe all in all, I'd give these water paints an eight compared to oil. All right. So that's my big, my big pig. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. This is going to be cool. Then it's going to be cool to see what happens when I put oil on top of it. All right. This is Liam from uh, Virility Vault. Or is this Life of Miracle podcast? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is thank you for stopping by. We're at a no dawn of a new golden age. So if you want to make your mark, if you want to say to people, no, no, you didn't believe in all of this stuff that's going on now, Things are not going to fall apart like tomorrow, all right? We're at the dawn of a new golden age. Put your messages in the comments. Let's stay in touch because I'll be able to teach you how to paint just like this. All right, come here. Mm. Mm. Liam, broadcasting from Paris. And thanks for coming by. And you know what? I'll see you later. Au revoir.